What's up guys, how's it going and welcome to uh, my room. Today we have another video here today and this is going to be regarding Sifu. Now Sifu is a game that uh, it's been out for a few months already. I know I'm kind of a little bit late for the party of this game but as you know I've been playing a lot of games, I stream a lot and I recently finished Elden Ring but recently we don't want a month ago and through this month uh, that I finished Elden Ring I've just been playing a lot of different games. I've been playing things like um, Ghostwire Tokyo, uh, I played um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I, I really just played a lot of games. <laughs> and one of the things that I realized from like going through all this is I I really just wanted to get play something like an Elden Ring, like a like a Souls game. Now if you know my channel, I've talked about a lot of uh, the Souls games and uh, I'm really really huge fan. I'm actually working on another video here for next week regarding Bloodborne but yeah so I, I actually played Bloodborne right before I played this one and after I finished Bloodborne I'm like I really just want to play something more like Souls like uh, so I heard a lot of good things about um, about this game uh, Sifu and I wanted to check it out for myself to see like you know what is this game about like how is this game compared to other games or like uh, other Souls games or anything now I, I did play Absolver like if you guys don't know Absolver is also a game kind of a lot of the combat from this game comes from Absolver you had the same kind of a lot of the same kind of mechanics in a sense and uh, that game was cool it had a, a lot of ideas uh, it was more multiplayer uh, especially like early early on when, when I played the game a lot of people were already playing the game and they were way better than I was at it so I was kind of like yeah I need to play something different so so going to see for here the story is very very simple your par your parent is killed very early on and you have this uh, revenge you want to have this revenge against this uh, eight uh, no I'm sorry not eight uh, five uh, people that, that killed your father so that's kind of like the mission kind of what you're trying to do here and you go to this different uh, five different locations to fight one of each different five bosses and um, the idea of it is pretty interesting you go through this um, already like generated spot you already know where all the bosses are uh, the boss are you know where the mini bosses are you know where all these enemies are and you kind of have to uh, plan it out so the, the game loop of this one which is very interesting very much reminds me of the souls games which is what i even mentioned at the beginning of the video it's really kind of learning from your mistakes learning from uh the early runs uh there this game has a lot of cool mechanics one of the mechanics that I think is, is very fascinating is as every time that you die, uh, your character becomes older. Uh, so uh, so it's not like all the games where you just kind of, it restarts you at the same spot where you die, but just a year older. And um, if you accumulate more deaths, then that's more, more years that pass. For example, if you died three times already, uh, next time that you revive, basically, uh, you're gonna revive as a as a 23 year old instead of as a 20 year old. So because three years passed at that point, uh, so it's a very interesting mechanic. I think it does uh, a lot of interesting, cool stuff uh, for it. And honestly, at first I didn't know what to think about the game because uh, it is hard and it is. Uh, a little bit of time, I, I would say, like almost frustrating because <laughs> uh, I already had the, the souls DNA on me. I like already dodge all the time, I like, try to dodge all the time. And this game is quick, fast paced. It does a lot of um, the, the way that it does the pairing and the uh, blocking. You really kind of have to know where, like, where you're blocking, so it's not just like other games where. They give you kind of a, an idea, okay, so you know, like you kind of have to know the direction of where you're blocking and everything. And then the characters, some of the stronger characters kind of get kind of crazy too with their attacks and everything. Um, the first level actually isn't too bad, which is what you're seeing here. I'm not really going to spoil you much of it uh, because I do want to say definitely you should play this game. This game is, uh, if you were into like hard games, quote, quote, or if you're just into games where there's a lot of cool mechanics to it and it really trying to teach you the mechanics of the game uh this game definitely a game for you it, it's a game that, that requires to be mastered by doing a lot of uh learning there's a huge learning curve in this game but once you really get the hang of it 
it can be a ton of fun it can be really satisfying kind of going through the earlier levels and just like making yourself younger because you can replay the games like obviously in the first level you really start the game with like uh age um uh, age uh, 20 and then obviously you know everything that you age but it's by the second or the third or the fourth level you're already like way older because you know you died a bunch of times but going to the first level allows you to kind of start younger and then going to the second level younger again and so on and so forth so the all the youngest that you stay in the game the, the stronger you're gonna be because you have more vitality now that being said there's there's a, a, a good thing about being older is that you hit harder so it's the kind of those things that are you confident enough that you're not gonna get one shot at by the fifth level if you're if you're all an old man or something like that and of course you know with more age you're bound to completely get a game over a later time so overall i think it's a fantastic game i think it's one of those games that uh it does require you to have like this um learning curve like actually trying to learn combos and learn the pattern attack of certain bosses and characters because some characters have some really interesting um, attack patterns, especially in the second level. I think the second level is going gonna, gonna to be the harder. Like really, like if you think of any Souls game, uh, back again to Souls game. <laughs> uh, there's always like this one area or boss in the Souls games that is the learning test. That's what I call it. It's like a test to see whether you have actually been trying to learn combos and learn how things work in the game or if you're just messing around and not really trying your best to learn certain things that's kind of how i see it uh really this game hammers that point of like learning uh the area getting keys to unlock other areas because one, one cool thing about it is as you're running around in in these particular areas you actually find keys to make um, shortcuts to different spots and everything. And that is cool as hell. Like the fact that they, they even thought of like adding shortcuts in the game, but like, uh, and it makes it makes your earlier runs like way faster. For example, earlier in this, ga this game, I really did get um, a uh, shortcut early on. And it was really, really cool to kind of get those and it pretty much that's how the game goes you know you, you get a uh, shortcut to an area and you just replay the same uh, areas over and over again now this game is fairly short it's not gonna be like very very long and i know some people like much longer games and there are, there are a lot of long games out there but this one because it's an indie game i'll say it doesn't go super uh high on on time or anything like that it actually just goes uh, maybe I think it's about like eight to ten hours long if, if you really put yourself through it and everything of course um, if you're bad like me <laughs> uh, There is there's some time to just like learn take some time to learn the the mechanics and the different aspects of the game and everything I think the game does a great job of teaching you things about the game and everything but uh yeah that's pretty much it for today guys just talking about this game and uh how much i'm enjoying it because i do think it's a great game to check out if you already haven't for some reason uh it does a lot of cool stuff again like not necessarily souls like in in all this stuff that they do but also some of the mechanics do remind me of souls games and kind of teaching you it's like a teaching moment of you like trying to learn how this game works and how the bosses interact with the world and teach you a lesson over and over again until you kind of get it right and everything and a lot of the characters even not bosses but like a lot of the uh, the early uh, enemies as well they also hard at times uh especially in the second level i think there's like two or three times where there's these characters that show up and they can kick your ass just as hard as a boss uh, if you're not careful or anything so anyway that's pretty much it here guys like subscribe and everything else i'm gonna try to make at least one or two videos a month in this channel uh, as i play games and everything that's my idea and everything but um yeah more, more of everything here i know and do more jrpgs on my main channel uh, but i really tried to get this one into doing more kind of different content that is not just jrpgs or anything anyway thank you so much for watching this like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye